Welcome back everybody to another RuneScape video. Um, before I had in the Discord, I had a question from Worthy Karma. Quick question, how do I see if any of the methods on your channel are outdated looking to redeem my first bond when exams finish from Worthy Karma? So today we are going to show how to check money making methods on the channel and um, really anywhere else. This is just um, a general, not just specific for my channel, but specific to my channel, the the next version, basically just all future money-making methods, I will have at the end of the video, like a little check screen. It'll make it easier for you to check methods to see if they're still viable. And um, I'll show you what that'll kind of look like at the end of this video. So um, we're going to do a newer method and an older method. And hopefully in doing that, we will be able to show how to check methods pretty effectively. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, so to check a method, you're gonna to want to have um, old school RuneScape Wiki open. You're gonna to want to have your method open and we're going to do the Dragon Knives video. Just pause that. Welcome back everybody and, to another. And pause that. And then also a calculator open just to do some quick little calculations. And that's pretty much it. So when you watch this, video um basically what you're going to want to do with any money making method is try to find all of the items that are actually being used and in here we have where is it all right, so here we have all of the items used in this video our money making method entirely our dragon knives th dragon throwing knives p plus plus um dragon knives Plane, not poisoned, and then weapon poison P plus plus or plus plus. So we're going to go to the wiki and look find all of these items. So we're gonna do dragon knife. It doesn't matter. Dragon throwing knives. Alright. So we have these. And in the video we use for every five dragon knives, you use one weapon poison. So we're also going to have to find weapon poison as well. Weapon poison P plus plus. That is not the P plus plus. Um, do we have P plus plus in here? No, no, not at all. Weapon poison P plus plus. So yeah, you're gonna need this price, and you're going to need the price of both of these. We have them both on the one page here, and so we're gonna do a little bit of a. We're gonna do some calculations. So to figure out um, the predicted profit. You're going to take the base item, so the dragon knife is what we started with, and the weapon poisons, and we're just going to do one set, which would be five. So, dragon knives um, is 1,642 a piece. We're going to multiply that by five, because we're using five of these per set. And so we have 8,210 GP plus our one weapon poison. We're going to add our 4,483 GP weapon poison to that, and we come up with 12,693 GP. So this is the cost that this is our investment into the money making method per set of five. And then we're going to go to the P++ and we're going to multiply this by the whole set, which is five. And let's open up another calculator actually, just to make this easier to compare. And we're going to do 2,479 GP um, times 5. And then we could see it's not really profitable because our cost is more than our sell price. So we're going to take, um, we're going to subtract the 2 to see we would make, we would be losing 298 GP per set. So, not very good, and then, um, yeah, boom, we're not going to do that one yet, because that one is not working. So, that's pretty much it, and I believe we're, yeah, we're going to do another one here as well. So, let's find one. Um, I think we should do this, because this is another very popular video. Um, no. 16,000 views, almost 17,000 views on this, and it was in May 9th. May 9th, and um, yeah, so this was very popular, a lot of people did this, and we're going to test this money-making method out, 
So for this one, same thing. Again, we're going to find all of the items that are at play in this method, and that's basically just um, sandworm packs, and that's that's actually it, and then sandworms. So let's go get sandworm pack. It is sandworm, right? Sandworm. Sandworms pack right there, and we can see right here. We got, um, we're just going to open up Sandworms too, because we're going to use that item as well. Sandworms pack is 9,000 GP in, um, the dude's store. And then the Sandworms are 96 GP each. So, all packs in RuneScape come with 100. So, we could just do calculation very quick for this one. So we have 9,000 um, GP starting. And you buy these one at a time, so you never have to buy it for more. It'll always be 9,000, 9, because that's how it's meant to be. So we have 9,000, and then sandworms are 96. So 96 times 100, that's just 9.6k, but let's just do it for the video. Times 100, 96k, and then obviously subtracting 9,000 from that, we have 600 GP profit per sandworms pack that we buy and if that like so we've come up with a method and we found this and it seems like we will make profit off of this 600 gp a sandworm pack is what we should be making now let's go ahead and actually test it and for this because we're still not entirely positive that this is going to work i mean a lot of people saw this a lot of people are probably doing this but there is a very high demand. My daily volume thing, I think it's broken, or it's just the wiki, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and test this to make sure that it actually does work, and then we could actually utilize the method and go for it and actually invest money. But for now, we're just gonna do one inventory. That's kind of what I recommend for most methods, unless it's like the gold leaf thing, where you're spending like millions per inventory. I wouldn't do a whole inventory, just do a couple, and just uh, see if it actually is, because just because the numbers add up doesn't mean that you could actually sell them off and everything will work out. This is what we're going to test. So I just want to show that this is exactly one mil. Yes, one mil. Um, then let's also do one of those. Yes, one mil. Alright, so we're going to teleport to Draenor and head over to Port Displorel, whatever this says, and test this method out. Alright, so we're here with our board type Ty... Ty Ian, Tynan, and we're going to go ahead and buy all of these. One second, let me just examine this one more time. It is one mil, and we're just gonna buy a whole inventory of these, and we'll be back once we have. All right, so now we have a full inventory. We're gonna open up all of these packs, and we spent um, a decent amount. So for some people, doing a whole inventory on some things might be a little bit too risky, but if you did do the calculations and it shows up good, you might just have to wait a little bit for it to actually all sell off. But we have 2700 uh, sandworms, so let's go ahead back to the Grand Exchange and see if we actually are making profit on this. And a quick little thing here, so we bought 27 uh times 600 is our estimated buy or our estimated profit so we should have 16,200 gp profit or probably not because i'm going to dump them just for the sake of the video because i don't it, it's 8 30 i gotta work soon don't feel like oh boy oh well, i guess we are gonna let them sit for a second because not about to ruin this whole thing we're gonna put those in at 95 and we will be back when um, they sell off. 8.30 right now, and let's we'll see how long they take to sell. All right, so we sold them all off, and what do we got? Um, we got what, what we expected, basically. 13,500, 13, okay. So, yeah, we got a little bit under what was expected. What just happened? All right, so yeah, we expected 16,200, but Got 15, 13,000, wait, that's a bit of a difference. Anyways, let's just say we had 13, well, we did get 13,500. And I looked up how many seconds are in an hour. 36, 3,600 seconds in an hour. 
And what we're going to do is, let's just say that takes 45 seconds, which I looked through my thing and just doing it, it did not take no 45 seconds, but let's just say it did. 45 um, divided by 3,600, no, 3,600 divided by 45, that's how many actions we could do for that thing. Then we can multiply that times our 13,500, was it? Yes. And then we could say this method is still producing about 1.1 mil an hour, which is um, right in the middle of what it was posted as. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much the whole thing. Um, hope you guys found this useful. Hopefully it helps out some people who are trying to check out money making methods but don't really know if they should do them or not and they're just having a hard time kind of figuring out the the potential profitability of them still they're just wondering you know uh, i wonder how much this actually is and here's the the best way to do it in my opinion if you have any questions put them leave them down in the comments below but let me show you what the future money making method things are going to look like so we're going to base this off of the um, the Dragon Knives method. And basically, all I'm going to do is this. So, it's going to show the items on screen. And that'll be kind of it. <laughs> um, it's just going to show you the items to look up on screen. So, like, all of the items that you would plug into your calculator... For, for example, the um, the sandworms method would just be sandworms and sandworms packs. The dragonized video on screen is um, the well dragon knives weapon poison plus plus and dragon throwing knives e plus plus. So that'll like give you uh, like oh let me just so this is what I need to know and um, maybe that'll help. I don't know. But anyways, if it does, if it doesn't, let me know in the comments down below, and peace out, have a good day.